Hello everybody, welcome back to the Treehouse. I am Twisty. We are going to get right back into it with our continuing coverage of The Secret of Monkey Island. Dun dun dun. If you don't remember, last time we left off with Guybrush Threepwood standing there in the voodoo hut getting ready to meet the big crazy voodoo lady. So, without any further ado, let's get right back into it. Boom, boom. So, look at all this stuff. Look at basket. Hmm, I think I hear slithering inside. Watch statue. Look at statue. I don't see anything special about it. Let's see. There's a jar of bat drippings. A box that says assorted scales. A shaker full of monkey flakes. And some cat knuckles. Ew, cat knuckles. <laughs> How barbaric! interact with any of the other baskets. Gee, I wonder what's in these baskets. Open. Actually, I'm not that curious to find out what's inside. So if you're just playing the game, you see all these options down here in the bottom corner. Open, close, push, pull, walk, etc. If you push the first letter of whatever it is you want to do, so open, it'll change your cursor to open and then you can click on like, open chickens. No thanks, I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. So, let's back over here. I wonder if we can pick up any of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jarred bat drippings. A box of those assorted scales. A shaker full of monkey flakes. And some cat knuckles. Cat knuckles! Let's see if we can pick up voodoo knickknacks. No thanks. Walked a trunk. Probably got a body in it. Walked a chicken. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. Like, th it's actually pivotal to the game itself in that you can't advance if you don't have the rubber chicken. But most people walk around and it's like, no thanks, I don't want to touch any of this voodoo stuff. And they'll never pick up the chicken. But, oh, walk cellos. I don't think we can pick up that either. No thanks, yeah. Alright, let's go meet the crazy lady. What may I help you with, son? <laughs> My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Wait, don't say anything. I can sense your name is... Is... Guybrush. Guybrush knows her. No. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? That's a lucky guess. Half the people I know are named Guybrush. I suggest you open your mind. It will help you in your coming journey. So, uh, yeah. Let's see here. Well, we got some journey. What can you tell me about my journey? I'm getting a vision. Oh, Lamadoui. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah! I see... What? See what? Boom like a buggy. I see a giant monkey. Yikes! I see you inside the giant monkey. Gross. Wait. It is all becoming clear. Boom like a buggy. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Doop 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 doop. Doop doop. Yikes! Alright, and then, yeah, we kicked out. So we have the rubber chicken. We talked to the crazy voodoo lady. Oh, I don't want to open that. There we go. Um, one of these is the prison. But we have to go to... Let's go to the archway. This is town. 
There's the church. Psst. I don't know. If you were walking around a strange Caribbean place, would you? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things can happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. That's what I was saying. Did you hear something back in here, too? <laughs> Just completely innocent. Like, yeah, yeah, man. No. I'd better get your name. Uh, I think this is the sheriff. Um... I'm Guyverse Threepwood, and I was just leaving. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood! Guybrush Threepwood! Whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here, told you. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me, this is a bad time to be visiting Mealy Island. A very bad time. My advice is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. Walk to the poster, look at the poster. Ooh, a circus. I love a circus. He's just so bloody innocent and stupid. I think that's all that happens back here, yep. Walk back to the street. And go in the church. But I don't think we do anything here for a while. Yeah, I know. Can't do anything in here just yet. And then this is the jail where we meet Otis, but we can't set Otis free yet. I remember that. Uh, we want to go to the... That's the governor's mansion, but if we go there, we're going to get attacked by the dogs. We're going to go back... We're going to go back through town. Do, do, do. I love Guybrush. He, oh, who's this now? No. Not what I wanted to do. And he's gone. Is this Stan's? Yeah, this is storekeeper. What do you want? I'm looking for the swordmaster of Mealy Island. The swordmaster of Mealy Island? Hmm, I don't know. Nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything. Ring bell for service. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. <laughs> the swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. What do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay. Wake me up if you need anything. Slash Master. When you want a sword as sharp as your wit. There's not going to be much we can do in here right now without um, money. So we will go... We'll go trigger Otis. We'll go talk to Otis and get him uh, triggered. We'll go talk to Otis, and because we need breath mints for Otis. Locked prisoner. You gotta get me out of here. I'm a victim of society. Not to mention halitosis. Yuck. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Uh, can we can we give the rat the meat? Give hunk of meat to... Oh, we can't even... Alright, whatever. To... The pot. I 
this is going to work. Walk to the doorway. All right. We're going to go to the cliff side. I know that there's, there actually is a circus in town. Those men of low moral fiber, they're not um, the circus people themselves, but there is circus people here. Do, 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 do. Walk to Archway. Walk by the bar. I just love the setting of this game. It's so, like, just piratey. I don't know. It, it's you got to play the game. I mean, I'm, you're watching me play, so you're kind of playing the game. But just to play it for yourself is, is just, it's a hoot. It's an absolute riot. All right, so this is the map of the island itself. You can go... We are where? The village. There's the lights. The house. There's the clearing. Can't get there yet. And the island. We are going to go to the clearing. This is where the guys are having a campfire. And you talk to them. Or is this the circus? This is the circus. I'd get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Fop. Weasel. Weevil, Miscreant, Toady, Ne'er-Do-Well, Scofflaw, what the hell is a Scofflaw? Mullethead, Millethead, Pencilhead, Halfhead, Cheesehead, <laughs> oh my god, RP, <laughs> what? Just get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Alright, they're just gonna keep going. Um, uh... ahem. Say there, son, how'd you like a chance? A once-in-a-lifetime chance to perform an amazing feat. A death-defying feat. Well, not so death-defying, really. A dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing, adventurous, acrobatic, and exceedingly well-known, fabulous, flying, Fidicini Brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. <laughs> Bill. Sound good? Good. It's a very simple, really. See that cannon over there? Uh, this one? All you have to do is get in the cannon, and we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. So what do you say? How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Ah, that sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? This is why we had to get the pot, by the way. Well, let's have it. We want to be sure that it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No siree. So give the pot to Fettuccine Brothers. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Put on your helmet and get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! Nah. Buff, buff. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Hey, are you okay? <laughs> I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? He's all right. <laughs> Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here's your money, sir. Just recompense for aiding us. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. 
No, I'll do it next. No, me. No, me. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Fop. Oh, it's just great. So now, we're rich. We have money. We have 478 pieces of it. Now we can accomplish things in the game. I just... Whew. I love that part when he just... <laughs> he just gets blown right into the thing. That's hilarious. Alright, let's go check out the lights. Um, I think we can go down to the beach, can't we? I know there's the village. But that's where we were. I thought we could go down to the beach. Oh, talk to the troll. Stop! You must pay a toll. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. You're no pirate. Why, the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. Yeah, this the insulting, learning how to insult is a big part of the game because you use them like... Like they said, this isn't a, uh, a die all the time because you f screw up game. This is actually like making you think, figure things out game. So, we got, uh, stick it in your ear, you green garrulous grub. Or I could also out insult anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. Let's go, you great green garrulous grub. Uh, er, um, which ear, cudgel breath? How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? Some semi-rancid meat? I want something that will attract attention, but have no real importance. Construction paper jockey shorts? Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then, I eat ya. None shall pass. Well, I don't want to give up the rubber chicken, because we need it for the mansion, I think. And I don't want to give him all my money. Well, you know what? We're just going to leave for now. There is a way to get through him. Um, this is the toll here, so like to get to the other side of the island. I think that's Elaine's house, and then the governor's mansion, and then the island. What's on the island? Do, do, do. Look, at, look at Guybrush go. The music. This this game is just an artistic masterpiece from beginning to end. It's hours upon hours of joy. Yes, this is what we need the rubber chicken for, right here. Do, 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 do. Alright, rubber chicken to cable. Uh, use rubber chicken on cable. <laughs> Visit fabulous hook aisle, restrooms, souvenirs. And this guy. I think this is the guy who teaches you how to insult. I don't like visitors. Who are you? I'm Bob and Threadbear. Are you my mother? I'm a pirate, Cannonball Head. Who are you? Uh, excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here? Sorry, but that sign's a little out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal acts, tattoo demonstrations, souvenirs... But there was a little accident with one of the trained animals. One of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down, put out of business. And since then I've lived here all alone. <laughs> the only company I have is the same beast that mauled that unlucky tourist. The same beast that made me a hermit. A monster that, just by coincidence, is identical to one that attacked me when I was just a child. Left her with these hooks instead of hands. <laughs> a deformed man. Jeez, now I'm all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can't you just leave me alone now? I'm Bob and Threadbear. Are you my mother? No, your mother was a duck. Ooh. Now beat it. I'm a pirate, Cannonball Head. Who are you? 
My name's Meat Hook, and I think you've got a little attitude problem. Well, I think you've got a little hair problem. Jeez, just don't know when to quit, do you? Obviously, neither did your barber. <laughs> oh, oh. We actually want to talk to him, though. Suppose you've come to invade my peaceful home and insult me again, hey? What was your name again, Cannonball Head? Look, I told you not to call me that. My name is Meat Hook. And you still have a little attitude problem. And you've still got a little hair problem. Jeez, just don't know when to quit, do you? Obviously, neither did your barber. I think I was supposed to say... Sorry, I was just trying to be funny. Yeah, he's going to kick us out. We're going to go back in and try one more time. Suppose you've come to invade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? What was your name again, Cannonball Head? Look, I told you not to call me that. My name's Meat Hook. And you still have a little attitude problem. And you still have a little hair problem. Jeez, you just don't know when to quit, do you? Alright, I'm sorry. I was just trying to be funny. You want to see something funny? Watch this. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? I got a whole routine, but I don't have the time to do it all right now. Maybe if we're ever on a long ocean voyage together. Until then, I'm a very busy man, so... Did you show me that neato tattoo thing again? Well, okay. But just one more time. Watch this. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. Could you show me that? I, like, a lot of the times you have to keep repeating stuff. This is all, like, a lot of it you talk yourself into a corner, and then you only have one answer, and then that's how you get out. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. All right. Whoops, I just realized that this is the wrong house. Oh, okay. Have a nice time on Mealy Island. Say goodbye, Roger. Bye, Roger. Right. Nothing like dancing pecs. Um, door, house. I don't think there's anywhere else we can walk to on here. This part's hilarious. So I guess we didn't have what we needed. Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken. <laughs> okay, so we got the money. We got the chicken. Go back to the path. Gabrush, bloodthirsty pirate. Oh, can we meet him? Oh, he's gone. Bloodthirsty pirate. We have to get past the troll. We're going to go back to town. Where did the clearing... back to town. We're getting about close to the end of the episode here. So what we'll do is we'll go back to town. 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 And we'll talk to this guy. And right before we talk to him, I'm going to leave it off here. I am Twisty, you are in the treehouse. Thanks for tuning in for my continuing coverage of The Secret of Monkey Island. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next time.